Oh yeah. How's everybody doing? How is everybody doing? We're gonna jump right into it. The big the big story is of course Bakhmut. Let's cover uh what the mainstream is talking about, Bakhmut right now. Yeah. It's your boy Abandon Nihilism. This is the news underground. We're getting right to it because I'm late. I overslept. I took a little nappy and now daddy is late, so we're gonna jump right into it. Big props to eight uh DJ Ak Akoza Baker Funk with this take care your business mix. Two, three, bitch, take care your business. Love it, love it. Good shit, good shit. Uh, wish we had more time for it, but let's jump in. Ba the Bach boots the big story, right? Wagner said they're gonna jump out, then they didn't jump out. Wake at 5 a.m. Oh my God, Chem Goblin, and he 5 a.m. and he's here, folks. Look at that. If I'm up at 5 a.m., I my life is fucked up. That fucks up my whole week. If I stay up till 5 a.m. on one day. All right, let's jump into it. Where the military says it has inflicted huge losses on Russian forces near Bakhmut, the embattled eastern city that has been uh, seeing fierce fighting for months now. Meanwhile, Kremlin-backed officials in the Zaporizhia region are evacuating civilians living in occupied towns. That includes the area around the nuclear power station. Ukrainian workers at the plant are not being allowed to leave, though their family members are being evacuated. So there's Nick Payton Walsh is in Zaporizhia and joins me now live. What are we hearing about Bakhmut then and the situation there? Yeah, it is extraordinary, it seems, reversal uh, against Russia here. A significant part of the front we, line, this is what we've been apparently, for. Uh, given up by conventional Russian troops who are seen on some uh, footage uh, put out by uh, Ukrainian officials fleeing the area. Now, this was first brought to light, indeed, by Russia itself. Running, uh, surrendering, we'll be showing some of it today. Russia's mercenary head, Yevgeny Prigozhin, talking about how uh, he'd lost 500 of his fighters holding and taking this particular area, but it was the conventional Russian military that appeared to have fled. That was then confirmed uh, by Ukrainian military figures as well, who claimed, and you know, it's always hard to put too much stock into casualty numbers in this conflict, but uh, claimed that 200 had been killed and 200 had been injured as Russia gave those positions up. But remember, this is a stark change in the narrative here. A few weeks ago, Russian forces were talking about the possibility they might be able to encircle the remaining Ukrainian holdout forces in the city, uh, cutting off some of the last roads. I mean, they, it really was, the Ukraine was holding on to this by a hair, by a motherfucking hair, dude. It was, they, it was basically the final little chunk of residential buildings uh, before the end of town. Um, and that was, you know, and it, it, the thing is, is that Ukraine... Uh, never allowed itself to be sur uh, surrounded. Anytime they felt that encirclement, they just backed it up. They were in full control of the situation, you know, the entire time. And, you know, I got to be real with you, you know, even, you know, Dennis has admitted this as well. Um, you know, clearly the commanders on the ground, and in fact, I have a, a general who has admitted, um, you know, and I'll be showing that this, sa this Saturday, but I have a general that admitted um, uh, yeah, clearly we didn't understand the situation as well as the Ukrainian commanders on the ground who understand how Russia fights wars. Um, and, and they were able to completely take advantage of the situation, uh, and of course wipe out Wagner. It is also good to note that, um, you know, Wagner is not exactly receiving any, um, gifts uh, let's say they're not even receiving basic, uh, you know, supplies from their own government. So it's, you know, I, I, I don't, I, I guess, you know, who, why does Wagner doesn't really deserve the benefit of the doubt or anything, uh, but, um, or for somebody to play devil's advocate for it. But I will say that, I don't know, it feels like, you know, um, your enemy's a bit hobbled here, right? And uh, how effective would Wagner be if they had everything that they needed, uh, including training, right? Similar situations happened before, and Ukraine lost them, though. Yeah, because, you know, you, you can only do so much up against wave after wave after wave, right? Um, you really do need the support of the rest of the Western alliance uh, to uh, give, you, give you the oomph you need, right? So if, if you got the magic formula of motivated soldiers and uh, proper tools and ammo, uh, you can 
you can make the impossible happen. Then we had this extraordinary public spat. Uh, Yevgeny Prigozhin demanding more artillery shells, pointing the finger squarely at the Russian Defense Ministry yeah. for not providing adequate resources he for him. He bitched he out to on that. Today. Yesterday he said uh, he hadn't in fact even received those artillery shells and now today he's suggesting that the Russian conventional military has abandoned some positions that his men had fought and lost for. So a startling display of public disunity, frankly, from yeah. the Russians here. He's consistent in his criticism, vocal, frankly, almost in a yeah. way unheard of. Yeah, uh, totally unheard of. He's, he, he called uh, Putin an old grandpa. I should probably show Putin's that footage. Russia, Let me uh, get that queued up. Top brass of the Russian military and Ukraine clearly seeking to capitalize upon this. It isn't clear if this marks the beginning of a broader Russian route around that city of Bakhmut. The Ukrainian officials are saying it's not actually artillery shells that Russia appears to be short of. They're, they're saying the barrage continues as always has done, but in fact, Wagner are running out of people on the ground. So, a certainly, a yeah, testing moment kidnap around so Bakhmut. Many of them. It's been the singular objective the of Russia, both Wagner and its conventional military, over all the winter. They said they take it by yesterday. They just simply haven't managed to achieve this one comparatively simple task, despite throwing thousands of men at a city which is strategically not that significant for Russia's broader goals here. So remarkable, frankly, that we're hearing greetings from South this Boston this year, and this reverse Lenny. Uh, from Russia here and its fortunes on the. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lenny. Front line, Max. Okay, Nick, thank you, Zaporizhia. Thank you. Now, it seems for some Ukrainians, the war has become almost background noise to their daily lives. And whilst every day brings the very real risk of being killed, after 14 months of conflict, it seems many are almost numb to it all. Uh, seeing as Nick Robertson reports now from eastern Ukraine. A few miles from Ukraine's eastern front, life is, well, sort of normal. Although it's not. Military Outside gear for sale. War, who needs this much camo kit? Bum, bum. Thank you very much. Thank you. No problem, Lenny. Sorry, I had to start late. You know, family got in the way. But thank you so much for the view. Um, if you uh, if you want to help out the stream, you can leave the stream going. Uh, and uh, if you don't want to hear me, you can mute the tab. It, because it doesn't count. If, if you mute Twitch, if you do the mute on Twitch, the view doesn't count. But if you leave it unmuted and then mute, right click on the tab itself. You can't you can't see what I'm doing, but there's a menu right here, and there's a mute button on the on the tab. That will give me the view. So, thank you, Lenny, though, for your patronage. Uh, like I and be here the whole time and never say <laughs> Kronos. No, hey, look, Lenny. Lenny is uh you know has deserved you know his bedtime. Okay. But you gave me a nice woolly hat. To yeah, a little hat there. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Frozen in fear, even though they feel it. We don't know what's happening you, 30 minutes from now, she says, let alone an hour. No worries shown in the town park either. Workers trim the grass as artillery shells oh, the headphones tear in up yeah. do that. so yeah. distant fields. You see, in Showing this air fear, raid siren at any moment. An abandoned indulgence. Air raid warnings. Passe now. The sirens have become such a background part of people's lives here, living through the war. They don't even respond. Take notice. Sorry about Chief, that. War is just ever present, pervaded through people's lives. Outside of town. Even you guys don't have front. to stick around. That's okay. This elderly couple nonchalantly tell us their home was shelled last month. He even jokes. It's boring when there's no shooting. Both, though, hopeful Ukraine's coming counteroffensive will end their suffering. We believe Ukraine will go in there and beat them well, his wife says. That Further on, pensioner Zinovi is more worried about his weeds than the war. So let me ask you something. All you know, the millions of dollars that Putin has spent, the the hundreds of people that he's killed with you know high powered military missiles. Uh, you know the whole the whole point of that terror campaign is to frighten the general populace to then look at Zelensky and look at the government of Ukraine and say, you know, well, it's up to you. You need to capitulate to this monster who keeps attacking us. 
Uh, and that, you know, and the idea is that th that then weakens the government, which then weakens the military. Um, how well has that campaign been working out, right? These people over here are more worried about their weeds than they are Vladimir Putin. Whatever the fuck he said. Thank you very much, Kronos, for your support of the news underground and the political Twitch underground. Good job, Kronos. We don't understand anything about the counteroffensive, he says. We just hope for our Welcome Ukraine, back, Davey. for our defense. Welcome back, Kronos. Where and when the counteroffensive may begin is one of the war's best kept secrets so far. The mystery is exactly what Ukraine wants. Keep Russia guessing, stretch their supply lines, sap troop morale. Ukraine's victory rides on surprise. Driving around near the front lines here, you can hear some shelling in the distance and you can see plenty of soldiers around. But what you don't get a sense of is any big buildup for a counteroffensive. Farmers here are counting on their troops' success, sowing crops in fields they want Absolutely, to harvest David. in full. Mikola hopes the counteroffensive will secure his land, but says he knows some of the soldiers around here, knows how hard the fight will be, knows it will be a bloody battle. Nick Robertson, CNN, Eastern Ukraine. There we go. Right, Claire, this, um... Okay, there we go. And we're going to cut it there because we're going to get a couple other mainstream... Uh, uh oh oh yeah video contains yeah okay so let's see here which one they're talking about i'm just seeing you know what if they're showing any of it so because you know like look these yeah the telegraph they're such wimps you know they're like oh some of these scenes may be distressing and then you're like oh shit you know we're gonna see some guy's face get blown off or some you know some guy get his guts blown out and it's like, ooh, tank running around, and you know we don't get to see all the, you know, all the nasty shit's been completely edited out, right? But there's still like trigger warning. Oh, this is intense. Mainstream news is hilarious. Um, but yeah, trigger warning though. Watch out, we're gonna see a tank. I better get my censored button ready just in case. And yeah, Davey, we're gonna show that link in a second uh, that you posted there. So what we see here is a bunch of Russians running for their goddamn life. You know, I think what happens is Ukraine eventually, they, they suss out, like, okay, how much, how much anti-tank shit that they got in there? And, you know, they're, they're pretty desperate, right? And uh, they kind of suss that out and figure out that they're basically out of ammo. And then I think they just rush the position with the tank. I mean, why not, right? Well, you're going to have to take it out with grenades or small arms fire. Good luck with that, bucko. You're not solid snake. You're not going to throw the grenade in the tank there, buddy. Um, and yeah, you could just get away with this because normally there's this would be pretty foolish to do this if if those guys were properly equipped with anti tank missile launchers. You're basically just giving them a free one, right? But if they don't have ammo, what the fuck are you gonna do? Cue the uh, cue the Benny Hill, man. Where's my Benny Hill? Where's my Benny Hill here? No, 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 no. Squidward, I got this one. There we go. That's close enough. <laughs> No, I thought I had Benny Hill. Is it songs? Oh, there it is. There's my Benny Hill. Equip your soldiers, Russia. What the fuck are you doing? What is this clown amateur hour bullshit? What the fuck are you doing? We can just bum rush your asses. There was like 10 of you in there. I better be careful. Uh, I'll look out for that carefully. I, I, there's a guy, there's actually a guy in there. It's so hard to tell. Yeah. He called Putin a grandpa. So like, you know, uh, Vlad Vexler was, was wondering, hey, you know, maybe this, you know, what, what, what uh, Prigozhin is doing, maybe actually Putin wants him to do this because there's some... You know, the, the army itself is disobeying and kind of doing things that Putin doesn't fully agree with. And this is a way to force Putin's hand. Well, now we have Prigozhin calling Putin grandpa and, you know, calling him, you know, potentially an asshole, like still kind of tiptoeing around insulting, but being very disrespectful and very, uh, very insulting, quite frankly. 
Um, so I, I guess I guess that theory is out the window. Um, it could it really be that this guy is just is? I mean, he is 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 he poking one of the most uh, assassination happy? world leaders that you could get one of the, the 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 world leader most likely to to put a horse head into your bed really are we really gonna poke that i guess he is i guess he's just he's just poking this entire russian tiger dude i think we're gonna see a fucking gore video with this guy soon Oh yeah, so there's no body there. Сегодня делается no body все there. абсолютно, чтобы он посыпался. Поэтому сегодня одно из подразделений министерства обороны бежало. So that that is the motivation. He's really going for a power play. Homie ain't no Putin. Homie ain't no Putin. He he looks more appropriate to put a light bulb in his mouth than have a quest on Nintendo. Homie is Fester Adams. Come on, man. He can't even successfully, you know. I mean, the thing is, I mean, regardless of all the, you know, factors against him, uh, you know, he, the, the fact is, is that he failed, right? Why the, why the hell would he think he has an opportunity here just because he was sabotaged by his own military, uh, you know, the Russian military, right? Bro, no one's going to be like, oh, poor Progrosin. So he's kind of a dumbass. Yeah, so they're shooting into the holes there. I don't see any bodies. They're just kind of going into the holes. Yeah, I didn't see any bodies. I think they cut that part out. It's like I said, Davey. They, the Telegraph. They're not going to show no fucking like they like you know the like the T shape the T shape video with the tank going in the trench and that body flying up out of it. Nightmare fuel, dude. Got to get the fuck out of Dodge is what you got to do, Pooty Poot. All right, take the L on this one, bud. Take the L. Is it really worth your entire regime presidency, Putin? He could still he could still basically just say, "Ah, okay. Ah, all right." And then and then be like right back to business like in a couple years because people are going to want that oil, baby. Germany, France will be there you know, 6 months later, knock knock knock. Hey Putin, I'm really glad you chose peace anyway. Let's talk about that oil. Especially Germany, right? So they're going to be knocking on that door. So he could so at, he could pull out at any time and still keep all of his all of his toys, keep the whole situation right, and just get the economic situation back on track. Like I said, there's 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 countries that are dying to, to, to get back and work with Russia, right? Because of their their cheap resources, mainly oil, right? They're still they're they're all like mm, I don't know we should probably we should probably not you know just let them take Crimea so we can get back to normality here so we can start paying you know pennies on the dollar for crude oil. So that that's all that's already happening. It was forty two Putin thirty nine Prigozhin Prigozhin got that much in a poll. Okay, well, uh, really? That's shocking. Actually, what? Who did the poll? Uh, I, you can't be, I mean, is it is it possible even to be somewhat independent? Um, but maybe it was like somewhat independent just to see. I don't know. I'm surprised Putin would let that out there. From the Daily Mail here. Oh, gotta be careful. He's wounded. Oh yeah, we got to show the the Carl Gustav recoilless rifle. I think I already showed it once, but this, that's a sweet little toy right there. Oh, conducted by Prigozhin. Okay, see that's what I mean. Can't trust any of this shit out of Russia, man. Okay, he's alive. That looks like a death funnel. 
Yeah. Oh, come on. They're gonna mute. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna over with this fucking ridiculous music. Okay. Can we chill with this fucking Michael Bay shit? Holy shit. If we're gonna do just music and no narration, let's get some shit over there that fucking bumps. Fucking Michael Bay, Modern Warfare 2, Hans Zimmerman shit. Jesus, give me a break. Today's stream brought to you by Calpico. Calpico. Strawberry soft drink. Very bizarre flavor. Very bizarre texture. I love it. Very strange. They call it a soft drink. Conducted by Prigozhin. Of course it was pr conducted by Prigozhin. It's got footage out of here out of Bachman. Let's go ahead and... Davey has had that link up for quite a bit here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, at the map here. Um, not to diminish the sacrifices of these men on the ground. It's extremely exciting. Um, almost half a year of Russian offensive efforts captured territory in yellow. They mobilized hundreds of thousands and threw a jaw-dropping amount of armored vehicles into a furnace of this sheer insanity. A military gone mad. So this this shows basically what they've been able to successfully hold down and capture um, since uh, since about a half a year ago, right? Um, so obviously the Donbass area they've been they've been at this since. What, since before 2014? And then obviously we got Crimea here, 2014. Then they started the invasion. And they they were on a blitzkrieg, man. They could you know, they and and they were they were stopped, of course, by the incredibly quick thinking Ukrainian soldiers. Pushed all the way back. Hundreds of thousands of men, hundreds of millions, billions of dollars um, in military equipment sacrificed. Uh, so that's over six months as the yellow there these these little yellow dots right here of course uh, uh ukraine pushed famously about six months ago ish five four months ago something like that they pushed uh russia out of Kherson, which is over here uh pushed them back to the dnipro river and we've already heard reports that ukraine has successfully crossed the dnipro river in certain places i don't know if they were able to keep that position they were able to take but only a matter of time um what i am, I am that was the i'm in awe at how wasteful and pointless uh this effort has been um so here we have Prigozhin here pooping his pants um and you know just criticizing what you know putin's plan criticize you know the happy grandfather thinks he's fine Especially our country do our children grandchildren who are the future of rush oh god blah 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 he really is talking like a politician how can we win this war if by chance i'm just speculating here yeah so i mean that's that's it boy you know it's talk to you later homie you know enjoy <laughs> en enjoy the fucking trip on the way down the balcony dude homie's gonna be slipping on banana peels hey lenny hey everybody make sure you check out accidents waiting to happen on youtube type accidents waiting to happen on youtube Big props to our number one financial supporter, Lenny. Thank you so much. Sorry for starting so late, Lenny. Thank you for being here. But no, man, homie's gonna be slipping on banana peels. You know what I'm talking about? He's gonna be wearing cement shoes. Man, you, if Putin, if Putin can't let this stand. Are you kidding me? He's he's sacrificing the entire legitimacy of the Russian military to save face. You think he's gonna let Fester's quest over here? get away with calling him a complete fucking moron I, yeah i don't think Prigozhin's scared of putin either but i think he's fucking stupid to not be i mean it's one thing for some jackass over here you know talking shit about booty poot it's another thing for a guy like him to not show fealty we're in a different universe with Prigozhin. motherfucker's gonna be slipping on banana peels dog guarantee it we're gonna see some nasty gross he's gonna get hung up with piano wire or some shit dude's days are numbered okay he's gonna get a gold statue sent to him right maybe the, i think the gold statue might have been his idea though 
That was a, that was a Prigozhin special. <laughs> he sends a gold statue to Putin. But it's a gift. <laughs> How's my Russians? Pretty good. Yeah, yada yada, yaki 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 yaki. He called Putin a fucking moron. Um, he said, "Oh, maybe he's a fucking moron." Oh yeah, dance around it like Putin gives a shit. All right, and and enjoy your uh, <laughs> enjoy your um, your vodka laced with some kind of bizarre, you know, radiation poison that doesn't kill you immediately but slowly kills you. <laughs> It was more Borat. Yeah, it was more Borat than uh, than uh, than Ivan. Yeah, I wonder what he's up to. It's just, Sasha Baron Cohen. He's a genius. He really is. I've, ne I've, I've you rarely see a, a person as talented as he is in the comedy sphere. Like actual talent, right? Um, not just telling poo poo jokes. My boy is doing his belly training. He's, you know, he's struggling. We got to teach him. So, folks, I got to get on my trench candle thing. The wife is, is getting really mad at me about all the cardboard I've collected. But this is what a trench candle is. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's basically you take a normal soup tin or a cat food tin. You fill it with cardboard, uh, uh, cor corrugated cardboard that isn't painted. Um, and then you fill it with paraffin wax. Um, and it'll burn for hours. You can you can cook food off it. Uh, obviously, it keeps light on there. And the Ukrainians have been using it. And I really, really need to get on this trench candle project. I feel stupid for not finishing it because I have a shitload of cardboard. Um, I've had a problem getting cans though. I need to I I need to find some place that can give me cans. All right. So we've seen all this footage here. I did want to get. Yep, they're kicking ass. That's a grenade launcher. Let's go ahead and get our ma a map update from your boy, Denny. We do have to get into... Buy more soup. Um, we do have to get into uh, the sponsored stream for Ukraine. And I think I, if, if, if it's okay with everybody while you're here, um, uh, would it be okay for me to switch the charity to the Ukrainian Red Cross because of that recent strike? Um... Uh, there was a recent strike um, on. Let's see, Ukraine now. I'm trying to find it. Uh, there was a recent strike on a uh, Red Cross facility in Ukraine, um, and uh, and yeah. So I think I think I will donate the proceeds of uh, this uh, uh, Final Fantasy sponsorship to Ukrainian Red Cross to help them out because they were just wiped out it was a missile strike from Russia accident just like those accidents in syria right question perspective of their fighting retreat Ooh, davy knows what i like yeah let's get into it let's we got to see this uh we're going to be showing a lot more footage of course on saturday so you can look forward to that oh yeah you know, i heard this was fake i heard this this footage was fake uh dennis was saying this was fake uh a little bit ago But they are running in the opposite direction. I don't I don't hear bullets being fired at them. I hear a lot of bullets being fired, you know, from them. But I'm not hearing any snaps. I don't see I can say it's fake. Nothing seems fake. Well, I was just other uh, the enforcer actually the uh, the YouTube commentator the enforcer was saying uh, it was fake. I don't know. It you know, I mean it's it's so easy it's a, so easy to fake because most of most of this war in most of this war you're firing into a horizon you don't see fucking anybody right? They're either underground or they're taking cover somewhere. But uh, the enforcer was saying this was fake. Yeah, I think I think it was him. Blame him. I'm blaming him. Wouldn't fake themselves retreating. True. Ah, I don't know. They've they've filmed they've filmed themselves doing some pretty stupid fucking things. But uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm I'm more inclined to believe you, Davy. So I'll take your word for it. Pretty, you know. 
Pretty interesting footage, that's for sure. <laughs> like, getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, as they should be. As they should be. Um, all right, let's get a little map update from your boy, Dennis. We got a lot of great news out of Bakhmut. From the front lines, and mostly those news are connected with the yesterday's counterattack performed by the 3rd Assault Regiment over here, and we have the map update. To check what happened, we need to go back to yesterday, so it was uh, like that in this region, and today it is like that. According to the Deep State map resource, we even gained more territory, and just now I have received the information. Well, yeah, Davy. I that's that's basically how i handle it so but yeah thank you for the reminder that one should be skeptical it's it's hard for any one person to be uh, totally accurate about it but yeah very good point that our guys are moving forward the second day wagner sent extra reinforcements to that area and they tried to stop our forces but so far unsuccessfully. And we push also via two directions, one from the south to the northern part, trying to cut the Russian forces, and one more vector is going to Klishivka, which is very important village over here. If we take it under control, we also take this road that leads to Bakhmut, and by doing so, we may count Russians in that area or force them to run from their positions. Potentially we can move towards Opetne and by doing so we may try to encircle the Bakhmut city. However, to do so we need to advance from the northern part as well, from this no side way. or from this side. No in that way. case we may create the disaster situation for the Russian forces in Bakhmut. So if they see us taking Klishivka and coming closer to Opetne, they may start to withdraw their forces from the Bahamut city. Otherwise, there's the huge risk of encirclement of the Wagner forces because they are losing their resources in Bakhmut and as you can see, the regular Russian army is now being used to help the Wagner forces, but obviously they fight much worse compared to the <laughs> Wagner army. The popular blogger already Prigozhin have recorded one more video today. He said that there is the great risk, the serious risk of encirclement of the Wagner forces in the Bakhmut city as the result of the failure of the flanks that should have been protected by the Russian regular army forces. And we are speaking about the place where Russia has the huge advantage, the Bakhmut city. They are taking the city itself, but still the situation there for them is also critical. Prigozhin said that the idea to so perform they, the assault... have they actually taken the whole city now? Boy, the, uh, the final push for Victory Day was a success. I haven't heard much discussion of, oh, they finally have taken it. Uh, but that is, it's kind of interesting that he's, he's kind of, he's not zooming in too, too long on, on the, on that there for them situation. is also critical. Prigozhin said that the idea to perform the assault on the Bakhmut city from the Wagner forces was to concentrate the Ukrainian forces in one place and cause them severe losses. But now he says that the situation turns upside down for Wagner and now they have severe losses compared to Ukrainian side. But we know that it was the case even before and the only only way yeah. how they could take the ground is to use the prisoners from the Russian prisons. So they were just throwing those waves of the prisoners to take the positions of Ukrainian okay, so forces. They three kilometers and now left they're of out that of little, those prisoners, left, and okay. that is why they're struggling. Okay, yeah. Dealing yep, right there. I mean, Davy once again, you know, you know, all over this shit, like you know, like flies on shit. No, but honestly, I mean, Jesus Christ, Davy, Davy, of course, you know, totally all over it. Yeah, it looks like they got just a little chunk left. I mean, they're making Wagner pay for every step, every step. Could you imagine you're, you know, you're advancing uh, and you're, you know, you're taking a building. You're like, oh, yeah, but, you know, they're always in the back of your head. You're like, you know, OK, where's the mines? You know, is this building literally just going to crumble and blow up beneath me? Um, and yet they persist. Yet they persist. I mean. Honestly, uh, God help us all if, you know, if Wagner was properly equipped. These people are fanatics. I, I, I don't understand the motivation, you know, other than the just, you know, yeah, I, I couldn't, I, I don't understand how one could be this desperate to, to just be like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Money? Yeah, I mean, it's just, are you, you're literally that broke. You're literally that hard up. 
where you're like, fuck it, you know, ride or die for this. To take Bach mood. And I mean, it's all going to be, it's going to be fucking, I'm going to, terrible pun. It's going to be Bach mood very soon. M O O T, right? Oh, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all going to be mood. It's all going to be mood uh, very soon. Literally for nothing. These people are dying literally for nothing. Look at Reclamator over here. Sweet name, sweet icon. Keeps it simple. I like it. You sure you didn't want to call yourself anal? Anal reclamator or something else, something along that lines. Playing with just single district in Twitch the is gross. city. However, today they moved a little inside the city. It was before, and they've took this part over here, and they also moved towards the Romova village over here as well. But it's not that critical right now for Ukrainian forces. Still, we need to control the crossroads over here, but we just control one district. So in any moment, in a few hours, we may leave our positions if there is the risk of taking them by the Wagner forces. For example, if they go closer to Kromove over here, we'll just uh, release our forces from those positions and evacuate as soon as possible. So the trap will close for the Wagner forces and we may take them from the flanks. At least it's one of the scenarios. We are waiting for the new videos released about the continuation of the Ukrainian counterattack in that area, but it's not the big expected counterattack. It will be very, very soon. We're gonna speak about it also in this video. But firstly, let me tell you about the partner of my channel, Atlas VPN. This is what a real sponsorship looks like. But I guess there are no more arrows in that case. They're moving their forces to prevent the further advancement of the Ukrainian army. Oh, that's that's interesting, Davy. Okay, yeah, I think I saw something about that. I saw some headline pertaining to this. I didn't I didn't actually click on it. Um, but yeah, that that was what the difference is, huh? You get you know your family will spend it because <laughs> because you'll be dead, but you'll get to spend it uh, if you go to Africa. I'm surprised they have a choice. You know, they have a choice. You know, I would like to volunteer, but only if I go to Africa. Yeah, well, so would literally everybody else. Too bad. You, know, you only get to volunteer if you want to throw yourself in the meat grinder. So I'm kind of surprised that, you know, they're, they're taking anybody for Africa, but maybe they need reinforcements in Africa too. And Wagner's also moved to this area because 72nd Brigade was demolished. Still, they have some of the forces in that area, but they're unable to withstand the counterattack of Ukrainian army. Basically, that is why Wagner's were forced to move there. The positions were already taken by Ukrainian army. So by the time they arrived to positions, uh, there were no place to hide because the trenches were taken already by Ukrainian forces. And that's why Wagner's also had severe losses. And Prigozhin yesterday was mad about this case. He even sweared towards Putin. He says that the grandpa is dreaming or he's just a so it is getting interesting day by day and in the future we'll see whether Prigozhin will He's be adorable. accused of the betrayal of his own kind, the Russian Federation, and there could be the fight in that case between the regular Russian forces and Prigozhin. Obviously, he will not go to prison. Also, I want to say why am I quite positive about taking Klishivka and moving further, because Russians were not able to build the huge defense lines in that area. They're using the Ukrainian built defense lines as well, the trenches, but they need to go down to the ground to defense and they cannot afford it because now they're still on offensive mission taking the Bahmut city and it will take lots of the supplies engineering equipment and we know that Wagner is in lack of any kind of the equipment nowadays provided by the Russian Federation well they still have some sort of the tanks and even airplanes but for most of the vehicles they should conduct the maintenance actions themselves mm -hmm. so it's been a while since we saw the Wagner airplanes like Suhoi Su-25 flying in that area so we'll see what happens tomorrow but this counterattack of Ukraine is a very good sign. By the way, this is the city, so Wagner's attack uh, this part mostly from two vectors could be successful, and also they're moving from the north towards Hromova, 
taking some part of the territory but still we're controlling this part which is crucial for our supplies about Avdivka there are no any changes Russia just bogged down and we have the update in Dnipro over here near to Kherson Kherson is very close so Ukraine advanced with their forces on this island so before it was like that and we are pushing Russians away from this place probably preparing the territory for the possible counteroffensive operation we saw the map that was published by the spanish reporters it's just based on the expert opinion that ukraine will also try to counterattack from the Kherson region hmm. that fits also the russian expectations at least from their experts that ukraine will be able to cross the Dnepr river with lots of the boats amphibies and many more but i guess not over here where and wow, so they did hold those positions that they took after crossing the Dnipro. These guys have brass balls. Man, they're pulling those brass balls out of that fucking $10,000 briefcase over there at Glen Glary, Glen and Ross. I'm telling you, man. That's got to be some hairy-ass shit right there. That's got to be some hairy-ass shit right here, man. What are they hanging out in one of those bombed-out houses? Counteroffensive is coming until it happens. Stop speculating. No, I'm going to keep speculating. Not the speculation has become its own kind of game. <laughs> um, I mean, some, you know, some have speculated that it's already started, you know, in, in trickles and starts, that it's kind of a slow moving uh, offensive, right? Building up to something. But no, I'm going to keep going. It's too much fun. Tonovsky bridge was destroyed. So I think that will go to Novaka Wow. Or yeah, no, look, some of these positions they're holding. Hell yeah, boys. That's some hairy ass shit. Damn. Or something like that. Because here the dam is more or less okay. So to build the bridge is less harder over here compared to Antonovka. Today we have the confirmation from our general. All right, so there you go. That's all I have time for when it comes to map updates. If you want to hear the rest of what Dennis has to say, please check it out right here. I'm more talking about Dennis than people like you. Oh, the people like him. Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I mean, they, you know, everyone's chomping at the bit. We want to we wanna see this happen. We want to see, you know, Russia get the fuck out of Ukraine. And, you know, we want to see this be successful. So, um, you know, this is a whole thing. All right, folks, real quick, I just got to do some... Uh, let's see here. Let's get the fundraiser thing going. Let me get the game started up. Every little map changes the start of the counteroffensive. Yeah, well, people are just, you know, they're chomping at the bit. They're chomping at the bit. They gotta have it. They gotta have it. Um, all right, let me get the name of the... I'm, I'm gonna stay in politics because um, I think that's where people expect me to be. And they didn't, they didn't tell me I needed to be anywhere else. I'm gonna stay in politics. Instead of going to the Final Fantasy 15 War for Eos section. I don't think too many people are... You know what I mean? I don't think too many people are like... Um, I don't think too many people are checking that out specifically. So I'm trying to help, I'm trying to help Square Enix here by staying in the politics section. Didn't work? Oh, well, you can scan this QR code. You can scan the QR code. Hold on, let me go to my stream settings and turn off mature content. Because this is good for all the kitties. Right, so this is literally the best mobile title you can you can play right now. It doesn't get better. The graphics are amazing. Uh, the story is touching. The music is amazing. We a big props to Davey and Woke Patriot who Davey, with the help of his family and Woke Patriot here, have gotten us up to three out of three. Thank you so much, Davey. Now, if we hit these power level, if, if, if we hit these bonuses here with the power level, more money will be donated to the Ukrainian Red Cross. I've decided to change the sponsor because of the recent strike. Um, Woke Patriot over here, thank you so much. Great job. War for EOS. But there was a recent strike against the, um, oh my God, something very gory on the bottom right. Jesus Christ, you, Jesus. Man, that's good thing I'm covering that up.
but no, we're going to be donating to the Ukrainian Red Cross here. Um, yeah, Davey's over here in the Two Million Club. He's really, he really, he, he actually enjoyed the game for a bit because, of course, you did because it's a great game. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't you enjoy it, right? Um, all right, so we're just waiting on everything to start up here. Just give it a second. Had to quit playing and uninstall it. Eve will get no evil because it's so addicting and so much fun. Because it's so much fun. Because it's literally the best game right now on the mobile market that you can get. Final Fantasy 15 War for EOS. Final Fantasy 15 War for EOS. Um, damn, woke Patriot! Congratulations, amazing. Of course, we are in the uh, Les, the Les, uh, the Les clan, which is a great clan, and we're kicking a lot of butt. No, never, never count the uh, lesbians out. They're kicking hella butt. Before my phone cannot play it. What? No. Well, he tried. He did try, folks. He tried. He tried. That's okay. So we're just waiting for the game to load. You can play it on BlueStacks, but that doesn't help the stream. So do check it out on BlueStacks if you're interested. But thank you for trying, Kronos. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have a peasant phone. What? What? Are you a dad trying to save some money so you didn't buy an expensive, fancy phone? Inexcusable. Google said your phone is asking something better. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. That was so loud. Why? 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 That was so loud. Why? Oh, honey, no. Make it. No. Holy smokes, my eardrums. What is happening? What is happening right now? My city was breached. Oh my God. We're just picking up where we left off a couple days ago. I got to clear enemy troops first. Okay, how do I do this? Oh my God. That was way too loud, homies. <laughs> that was way too loud. Oh, I just need to click them. Okay, well, that's easy. I reclaim my city, folks. Excellent. Because you didn't log. No, uh, no, uh, I've been logging in. I've been logging in and playing this game consistently since the stream because it's a lot of fun. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about, Davey. I have been logging in and playing, so maybe it's some kind of glitch. I don't know what you're what you're talking about, but I have been. I'm, this game is addictive, man. I have been all over this game. I got my apples. I got my stone. I got apples and stone, folks. We're using a top tier game to start with episode one. Pod racers free. This. Ooh, that's a that is a fun game. That's a good one. Ooh, I got I get to drive up in the hoopty and tell the boys to get in. Look at this. This is great. Watch this. I just roll up in the hoopty. Get in the van. Let's go, bitches. Let's go, losers. Let's go. I love that. All right, digging it out. This is the war for EOS, folks. The war for EOS. Thank you so much, Final Fantasy 15 War for EOS, for helping me support the Ukrainian Red Cross. Um, you know, thank you so much for the opportunity to present your game to Twitch. Uh, and you know, for it's about 500 bucks, 450 bucks, something like that, probably after taxes. So 450 bucks, you know. So thank you, Square Enix, for this opportunity. Um, really fun game. I have I've I've had so much fun playing it um, on my phone and on my computer. Um, the charity before it was very similar, very similar charity. But I mean, the the you, the Red Cross was just strike, you know, was just hit by a strike. But the charity before, but you know, Cam, maybe you can tell me if you don't think it's a good idea, but. The charity before was this. I, I'll just make. I'll just do this one. The next charity. I'll just do this one. The next charity. But yeah, um, they were just hit by a missile strike by Russia. So I was thinking maybe we could donate to the Red Cross this time. Um, tell me. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Okay, let's get back to it, folks. This exciting gameplay. Let's go ahead and train them up. Love this. Kick him, but you know it feels so accessible feels like you're growing right so it's a lot of fun yep cue it all uh heal them up there we go excellent my boys took a beating here we go we got the treasure chest 
Oh, look at the graphics. Look at the frickin' graphics. Folks, I gotta turn it down in my ear, ear set here because it is just blowing my eardrums out. One second here. There we go. The high quality soundtrack is really, I mean, it's top notch. As long as it's Ukraine's Red Cross. Yeah, I'll make sure it goes into Ukraine's Red Cross and not just the standard regular Red Cross, okay? Because, yeah, it's really confusing. Their website is really hard, difficult to, like, which one am I donating to? There's like a hundred of these. Uh, but I will make sure. Ooh, and we get it. Look, look at Square Enix helping us out. We get a free premium chest. Look at this, folks. You can have this on your phone. Oh my God, so loud. Okay, where's the volume? Okay, I'm blowing your eardrums out here, dude. Where's the volume? Hold on, let's do this. Let's do a quick tutorial. No, that's, no. The power level's incredibly high. Kicking a lot of butt. All right, where's the volume on this? Um, city, world, mm, mail. Tell me about this place. Is, oh wait, I'm, is, I'm, I would normally adjust the volume on my phone. Hold on. Hold on, let me do this through blue stacks then. Oh, here it is. Here's the volume. There we go, folks. So that's pretty quiet. Let me just do 75. Right, because normally this would be on a phone, not a computer, right? Duh. Um, never, I would never turn off the sound effects. This is top quality Final Fantasy amazing music, okay? Um, I would never turn this off. Never. Top left, adjust sound effects, yeah. That's okay. We've I've I've turned down the device. Oh wait, is that was that it right there? Menu? Oh there it is. Yep. Okay, there it is. Options. Oh yeah, look at that sound effects. We can turn it all off. But we'd never turn it off. Heck no, Square Enix put all their best talent um, into making this premium experience. And I would never mute it. Um this is authentic Final Fantasy sound effects and music. Uh, we got a good prediction here. Here we go. Here's what a battle looks like, Kronos. This is high quality. You could have this on your phone. You could take this free on your phone today. You just got to, well, you need to upgrade your phone with your yee yee ass, ghetto ass, uh, Sprint Tell Boost Mobile over there. But you could have these graphics. Top-notch, high-quality, triple-A graphics, folks. Triple-A graphics. Only, only Square Enix could possibly get in the hoopty. Only Square Enix could come up with, um, you know, this addictive mix of gameplay elements. This is, this is a wholly original concept coming from Square Enix. And... Um, it's really great to see them, you know, once again, leading leading the drive forward in innovation in the mobile market, right? Love to see this. Love to see more of this. Nothing I love more than these kind of apps. Love it. Thanks. So much. Oh, exciting. Look at that. It's blowing your eardrums out. Jeez, the volume is all over the place, folks. Oh! Um, excellent. So that was amazing. New area unlocked. Making progress. Making money. Making apples. Making sweet, sweet, tender apples. Go ahead and repair this. Ruined university. There we go. That's just what I wanted. Upgrade that biatch. Go, yeah. We upgraded. You know, masonry used to be a difficult profession. Now it's as easy as clicking a button. There it is, boom, level seven university. What's this do? What are we researching here? Economics, 0% research. Well, we gotta get on, oh, more apples. Oh my God, yes, research more apples. Oh, sweet Jesus, why haven't I not been doing this before? Weapon training, get on it. You can only research one thing at a time, yep. Thanks, Obama. Yep, I remember when he passed that law. Look at this bridge, it's going somewhere. 
That's a lot of decoration for your bridge. I, lo I always loved how Final Fantasy did that. Like the most innocuous of things, like a like a outhouse, you know, and it'd be all ordained with, you know, embroidery and, you know, the door would be all shining gold and everything. Uh, you get five bucks. Well, look at that. That's quite a deal. I love, I love paying money uh, to, you know, speed up and get extra, you know, extra functions in the game. I think that's a really, really cool feature that a lot of mobile titles use nowadays. I think that's really cool. Apples and stone, apples and stone, apples and stone, apples and stone, apples and stone. Here we go. Here we go. And another fight. The Moogle is predicting a good outcome for us. So let's hope, let's hope we do that. Nothing I love more than dropping a few bucks and getting, and just, you know, having the game be much better and more fun to play after you've done that. I think that's a really cool mechanic. Um, so here we go. War for Eos, folks. This is what the war made some sacrifices, okay? We got some veterans coming back from the war for Eos. They're not looking too good, right? They're not looking too good. They're, look they're looking a little beat up. Super short, 14 hours? I have 14 hours to wait, no problem. No problem. And of course, I got plenty of money in my wallet too, so I can always just, you know, make my life easier there, I which I too. like that option. I like that ability to do that. Here we go, apples and stone, apples and stone. Here we go. Uh, fight, do it, fight! Remember that Mortal Kombat? Remember Mortal Kombat? That was a game. I can definitely confirm that was a video game. Same when the game wants me to play it for a length of time. You know, it, exactly, Kronos. Exactly. So you're understanding what I'm what I'm throwing down here. Uh, here we go at the guild hall. Epic fight. Dude, is it on auto? Oh, I didn't even have... They weren't even using their special powers. Oh, Gladios. Doing front flips. Graphics, folks. I cannot stress these AAA premium quality graphics that you could have on your phone today. You just got to scan that QR code. Final Fantasy 15 War for EOS. Download it today. Put it on your favorite device. Put it on your family's device. Tell them to play it. Tell them to join your clan. Okay? This is how you create community. This is how we do it now. All right? We join each other's clans, and we play these games in our living room. All right? Some of you can have it today if you don't have Yee Yee S. Ghetto, Sprint Tell, Boost Mobile Phones, like your boy Kronos over here, poor guy. Gladio sucks, he literally always dies instantly with my party. Gladios doesn't suck, he's just, you know, he's, look, he's compensating, all right? We won't get into his personal issues, okay? But let's just say the muscles are compensating for something, all right? Poor Gladios, feel bad for Gladios. You know, hashtag, what about Gladios? You get lots of speed up items. I was spending because you're spending like 20 gold to complete instantly. I love that. I love those mechanics. That's great. Love that. I'm from Arkansas. I put a lot of time into not joining a clan. Whoa, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 come on, family friendly over here. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, here we go. We got a skirmish attack. Let's do it. Attack. March effortless. Oh god, this is so loud. Whoa, so loud. Don't forget, folks, you can have this on your phone today. Triple A premium experience. I cannot stress. I cannot stress this is how premium this experience is. It blows my mind how premium the experience is. I'm, my mind's blown. Let me double check and see where we're at on this. On our little progress chart, see if the, this has actually started. <laughs> okay, Kronos. Um, oh, they haven't. Oh man, it hasn't hasn't triggered my my thing yet. I don't know how they. I don't know how they calculate this. That I'm actually. Oh, maybe I need to put. Maybe I do need to put myself in the category. Let me go ahead and do that real quick, and I'll put myself in that channel category as well. They didn't say I had to, but let's go ahead and do that anyway, because I'm not quite sure how they. Um. I don't, I don't, I'm not quite sure how they double check and make sure I'm actually doing what I'm saying I'm doing. You know what I mean? Like, is there a human being who's watching this? You know, I don't know. I really, I actually don't know. Any chance of sleeping in a nice room tonight? Oh, uh, Provo, Primo. Uh, you're such a funny guy. Okay, so we'll switch it over to that category. Let's see if that actually improves it. 
Um, okay, let's get back to the video game here. Promo, Primo. How do you say his name? Prevo, Pri Pribo. It's me. I'm I'm the human being. Thank you, Chem Goblin. Sometimes you just gotta look in the mirror and say, "It's me. I'm a human being. I'm worth it." I want to upgrade my apples. Get to researching. It's all about apples. This that that's the one thing you need to understand that the entire foundation foundational bedrock of Final Fantasy War for Eos is the collection of and you know and hoarding of precious precious cherry red sweet sweet baby rays apples. What do they call them? Granny Smiths. They love them Granny Smiths in Final Fantasy, folks. Get get to training. We got 12 minutes. Come on, get on it. Here we go. Give me that. Oh, I love this. Woo! Man, I love the 3D graphics. You know, that 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 gives you that really tells you this is a premium mobile experience. I'm only human after all. I'm only human after all. I need to add that to the uh, to the soundboard, don't I? I need to add that to the soundboard. How do I do the thing? How do I go somewhere and do something? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm looking for things to click on here. Didn't I have a farm? What happened to my farm? Do I have to rebuild my apples and quarries? Well, that's crazy. I got to rebuild my farm. Why would those people do that to me? Why would they do that to me? All right, hold on, folks. I'll show you. No, wait, here they are. Here's my, oh, the, the button wasn't showing up. That's why, okay, okay, good. Bottom left, okay, quests, here we go. Just a little rusty. I haven't played in a couple hours, so I'm just a little rusty, so you have to excuse me. Oh, here we go, free chest. Excellent, excellent. Who's making all these chests? They're making a killing. Here we go. All right. Boom. No, click the map. You can't tell me what to do. Noctis, Prince of Lucis and okay, King I'll click the map. King of fishing, he says. This guy's such a cornball. I'm a little bothered how big your walls are and how empty your. That's lots of room to grow, you know? Room to grow. Get up on there, Prompto, or whatever the hell your name Prompto, yeah. Thought it was like pixie dust or something. He's such a twink. I've come up with a new recipe. Okay, was that necessary? Who's doing your voice acting? Recipe. I told the wife when I bought magnums. Hey oh! I need to build some roads, huh? I'm not you can't tell me what to do. You can't tell me what to do. How do I do this? Build roads? Let's see here. Shops. I give up. Let's let's get into a fight. I don't fuck. I don't care. I don't. I don't flip and care. I want to fight. And that's the great thing about Final Fantasy 15: War for Eos is that you know you get to do what you want. You play the game on your terms. You don't. You don't have to like dink around if you don't want to dink around. You get down to the business. Down to the business. Where's my whip? Where is my whip? They should pull up in the whip. They go marching. They don't even bring that cool black car. They don't bring the Batmobile. Davy, Davy's the expert now. He's he's actually he knows this game better than better than we do at this point. Oh, look at this! I got something to kill. There we go. Yeah, you just have to click on it. That's kind of lame. You should like fight him. No, I mean that's actually really cool. I'm sorry, Final Fantasy 15 more for EOS. Um, let's see here. Uh, no, 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 no. What, what did he say? Bottom right, click on third menu. What guild? I'm in a guild. I don't want to join a guild. I'm in a guild. Why? What, what happened to my guild? What, was I kicked out of my guild? Did they kick me out of my guild? That's so unfair. I was in a good guild. Oh, man. That's so mean. Oh, there's the build menu. There it is. He's, he's, he is a, he's a pro. He's really good. I'm only human after all. Davies, Davies, like, shut up, you toddler. This is how you play the game. <laughs> right, troop camp, upgrade, 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 
Upgrade the quarry. Upgrade everything. Apples, apples and stone. Upgrade, yes. Make the fireworks go off. Make the lights bling. Bling, 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 bling. I love mobile games. So much fun. Yeah, he's teaching me how to Nintendo. Isn't that great? The the youngin stepping in to teach the old man how to Nintendo. <laughs> okay, I gotta upgrade the hero hall here. Let's see here. Heal him up, cue him up, heal him up. Excellent. Uh, hero hall, let's go over there. How do I upgrade this bad boy? There we go, get on it, 30 minutes. Wait, don't I have items to speed this up? Oh, me too, I love Nintendo games. I got I got a half decent collection. All right, speed up. Do we have? Yeah, we got some items here. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's use one minute, one minute. Yeah, use twenty nine of these. There we go. Boom. Look at that, folks. Just that easy. I mean, you know, Square Enix really hooks you up. Gets you all set. Gets you all freaking set here. So let's just wait for the hero guild to upgrade. Listen to that beautiful. Isn't that beautiful Final Fantasy music? This place is pretty big. It is pretty big. <laughs> Prompto, don't say stuff like that. You're going to make me blush. All right, let's speed this one up, too. Yeah, use 26 of these. Um, yeah, use 10 of these. There we go. That's no good. Now, now it'll be almost done. There we go. Perfect. Um, okay, what do we got here? What's this? Okay, I got something. Excellent. Is my research done? My apple research complete? Oh, good. All right, crank it up. More apple research. I want the best apples. Three Switch consoles. Damn, son. Does it does it do like a cloud saving thing? So you just, you know, fire up your, your console and then it downloads everything and then you just start off. What's happening over here? What the heck is this? There's a desert over here. This is cool. Do I build a bridge over here or something? That would be kind of neat. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that, folks. There's this guy. Oh, look at this. I didn't know this was over here. Cool. Look at those graphics. Really cool. Thank you, Square Enix. Here we go. Take the car, remember? Oh, that's a good idea. Here we go. Train. Okay, that one is cranking away. Is the hero hall done or? Oh, I see. We get some free ones for upgrading. Yeah. Oh. Perfect. Get it. All right, let me check on this. This is still not detecting that I'm streaming, man. How long do I got to do it? Huh? Oh man, it's not it's not picking up that I'm that I'm actually doing this. How do I tell it to do this? I did all the hashtag. I did the it's in the name, yeah. I got the timers on. I did a two day gap. Man, I just come on. Don't don't do this to me, Square. I got a kid to take care of. Uh got by a death claw because of the sound. Oh, oh! <laughs> no, it's just because I'm really immersed. I'm really into this. I think this is this is high quality AAA gaming at its best. You know? Oh, that's cool. That's a nice little effect. All right, what else we got here? These are quests. I thought this was a quest. Missions. Here we go. Ooh, cool. Look at this. Missions. Just gonna click on stuff here. Hold on. Clicking on stuff pretty laggy these high quality graphics you know they're pushing my 1060 as hard as it can give me my apples give me my stone apples and stone apples and stone what did i tell you this game is all about the acquisition and hoarding of granny smith apples this is great give me them granny smiths booming granny remember that beastie boy song booming granny Good and plenty. I see you in the checkout line. You cast your coupons and you were looking fine. <laughs> Good old Beastie Boys classic. Boomin' Granny. Oh, I was kicked from my guild. That is so mean.
That is so mean. That is so, that cannot believe they did that to me. The les women for women that kicked me out. You believe that? I got excluded from a from the les. I can't believe that. I can't believe they would do this to me. So now I need a new guild. All right, let's see here. Can I just get? Can I rejoin les, please? They were. It was so nice there. The bathrooms were really nice. Man. Man. Oh, look at these. Look at this. Look at this. Look at these terrible. Where's my? Where's my sad? These terrible, weak, weak guilds that now I can join. It's terrible. Someone needs to show me the sights. It's terrible, dude. I got, I got hosed. Fine, that guild will join it. Bro, I got mutinied. I did. I guess, I guess you know that the couple, couple hours of inactivity. I guess you know they really need hardcore players that are like playing all the time right and yeah i took a couple hours break you know i didn't think it'd be that big a deal but geez geez that's so mean all right that's fine though look at that see that davy i was in the right one but that's that's they probably had to trim out the you know the guys that weren't contributing you know they had to they had to cut out the guys that weren't contributing yeah I got to show real commitment. I just wasn't, I wasn't there, you know, and I got punished for it. That hurt. That hurts. Can I fight one of these iron giants yet? Let me try it. Let's see here. See if I can find a level one iron giant. And once again, I got to give this game credit for its overworld. That is kind of more interesting than most of the overworlds that I've seen in a lot of these mobile titles. Um... No, I don't see an iron giant anywhere. I'm pretty sure fighting one of these is still like, don't do it. Recommended power level 800,000. Yeah, no, don't do it. Yeah, okay. What is this? Teleport, gather, march. 200. It says I needed 800K because it's like level two. So I need 200 for. I'm working on it. I'm like 166 thousand that ain't too bad yeah davy get your get your facts straight oh my radar i can do radar missions okay let's do that upgrade it yay okay let's see here let's do some radar missions uh do it recruit get in the hoopty losers all right, here we go. Oh, there we go. See, they take the car for this. It's like, how can we don't take the car for everything? Why are we not taking the car? I guess because the chocobos don't really fit in the car. All right, what else the radar got for me? Claim it. How about this one? Recruit, do it. Ooh, right under my opponent's nose. Look at this. We got an opponent right here. I'm going to steal his uh, recruitment opportunity. Drive up in the hoopty and drive away like slick ninjas in the night. <laughs> Victory. Victory, baby. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like, folks. Claim it. Bada boom. All right, here we go. We got a fight. Let's do it. Skirmish. Get on it. Drive your ass out there. Wait, what is this? Oh, I have to wait for them to return home. Just give them a second here. They're returning home. Come on. Come on. You're driving a vehicle. What is taking what is taking so long? Huh? What's taking so long here? I demand satisfaction. I just watched Barry Lyndon. What a movie. My God, what a movie. Can we turn this into a Barry Lyndon appreciation stream? A lack of roads. Make sure you download the game Final Fantasy 15 War for EOS for free. Available on the App Store and Google Play. Reach power level 100,000, power level 500,000. Support the stream. Final Fantasy 15 War for EOS. Get it today. Don't forget, folks, the proceeds of this sponsored stream are going straight to the Ukrainian Red Cross. Reach a March limit of one. Bro, what are they still? Oh, they're gathering. That's what they're doing. They're doing some stupid gathering thing. Stop doing that. Go home. Recall. 
Yeah, okay, there they go. Cool. I see I figured it out, folks. Yeah, close enough. All right, let's get back to it. All right, here we go. Let's go kick their butt. Butt kick, effortless. It's going to take 30 seconds to march there. Look at him go. Now, once again, I think this would have been improved if if I was able to see my opponents also doing this. Um that would be cool if they could update that and you could actually see other people traveling across the world map. Davey, do, do you actually see that? Maybe I'm just, you know, I'm not like seeing it, but that would be cool if you could see other people marching around and stuff. You can? Okay, awesome. All right, great. That's great Good for you. That's great. Because that does add like, okay, cool. You can see, you know, other people walking around the uh, the map. That's really neat. All right, so just got to wait for them to return, and then I can send them on their final mission. So what's this? I got to click on this. Log. Everything has, like, you know, like, your inbox is full, like, notifications, and it makes me want to click on everything. VIP? What's this? Activate VIP? Um, do it. Use it. Cool. Look at that, folks. I got free VIP. Could have had VIP on the whole time. I get a daily free thing. I got some free apples. Hell yeah. What's this do? Oh, I don't have money for that. Sorry. Sorry, Square Enix. I'm broke. That's why I'm doing sponsored streams. But I guess maybe I should put the money in my pocket instead of giving it to Ukraine, huh? So tempting. No, I would never do that. Um, let's go ahead and do this one. Here we go. Excellent. Excellent. Kicking butt. Let's go. Let's go. These these little guys are tough. These guys are little little demons here. Little goblins, whatever the heck. Get them. Let's show them the power of teamwork. Yeah, heck yeah. Let's show them the power of teamwork. He scouted and raided every profitable city in the area. <laughs> I mean, that's how you play the game, right? That's how you do it. All right, let's claim my ill-gotten gains. Here we go. There's my rewards. Level three, folks. Unlocked. Okay, cool. I get to... There's a couple more that I can do before it... Like, you can only do the so many radar missions. All right, hopping in the hoopty. Get in here, losers. I'm sorry to hear that, Davey. How would you, uh, did you, did you reinstall? Oh, two days ago, you said. Oh, okay, I see. Get in the hoopty losers. Yeah, that's how you do it. Use a car. Driving. That's so mean, people can raid you. That's what, that's what really drives you to start wanting to spend money, because it's like, oh, hell no, I'm going to go get revenge. <laughs> All right, give me all my juice. Yes! This is the AAA premium experience that I love to play. There we go. Excellent. Love the graphics. Even the loading screen is, is sick AF. It's sick AF. It's super lit. It's really... Um... Litty. What the hell are you kids saying now? Oh, you say cap. It's you, there's no cap on the soda pop bottle. No cap on my bo on my soda pop bottle. That's what you say. Ah, he just fell over. <laughs> you know, Davey might be right about this guy. He just kind of drops dead immediately. Amgur chain. Amgur. Amgur chain. Lovely. Amgur. Amgur chain. Yeah, Wee, we did it. Lovely. Love that classic Final Fantasy fanfare. Cap means a lie. So when you say no cap, you're saying I'm not lying. No, you, a cap is what you put on a soda bottle pop. You know, a little cap on top, screw it up, you know, like this. This is a cap. See, so it's like 
Oh, I got no cap on my when they're saying no cap. They're like I got no cap on my soda pop bottle Right, and they're like, oh, that's a bummer Right because it's not on your bottle right? <laughs> Come on Davey I'm hip with it. I know what's going on Put a cap on you if you keep calling it soda pop. I'm in Canada. I'm allowed to call it pop again That's a screw lid. Oh screw that <laughs> Occupy what does that mean Do it occupy dude that's a, that sounds so colonial <laughs> Go occupy it final fantasy pretty boys <laughs> All right, here we go. What's, what does occupy look like? What does that do? Hope they don't do anything uh, war crimey what, is, what does occupying mean do they hang out? I see so they do they hang out it's like you garrison your troops there okay no that's okay i don't want to do that i feel bad i don't want to occupy anybody i'm not allowed to say some very spicy things right now because i'm doing a family friendly stream so all right all right i think I, have i done all the radar stuff let's see claim it Give me my apples and stone. No, I got a few more things to do. Here we go. Everything's Coke. When I say I want a Coke, you better ask me what kind. Don't bring me a Coca-Cola. You want that buy right Coke. That Costco. That Costco Coke. <laughs> what is it? The values choice or, you know, great value. <laughs> That's my favorite kind of pop. I'm allowed to call it pop again. I, I I was raised calling it pop because I was raised in Michigan. And then I moved to California where they call it soda. I called it soda. But now I'm back in Canada and hey man, it's no cap. It's lit, no cap. Kids. Burger interchange really. No, come on! Davey, come on! You're not a what you you're not over there at the at the sandwich counter looking at a you know a, a ham and cheese and calling it a burger. No way, dude! They're all conf super confused. You're over here calling Sprite Coke. Y'all are insane. You are, you guys are actually insane. What is this? They set up camp. What are they doing? In camping. Why are you doing this? Attack. What the heck are they doing? I call everything a sandwich. Oh, I see. You call a burger a sandwich? You're gonna trigger me, boy. I love burgers. I'm a burger boy. I like me a good burger. Oh, come on, Square Enix. How do I know that you're you're calculating that I'm doing the work for you? What's the trick? Oh, here we go. We got it, folks. We're in. Yes. All right. According to them, I'm 20 minutes into this. Okay. Fair enough. That's fine. As long as they're calculated, they're they're calculating it. So I'm gonna have to stream. I'm gonna have to stream this a little longer than I than I thought. I thought I was just gonna be able to do an hour, but that's okay. I'm waiting for these guys. <laughs> Boy, they're taking a while. Drive the car. Leave the chocobos behind. Holy crap. If you ask me if you want a Coke, I'm going to ask what kind you have. If you say Coke, I'm going to look at you like you're dumb. Well, you're the one that's dumb. It's better than calling it Sodi Pop. Like I was born in the 40s. No, it isn't. Sodi Pop is a classic. Sodi Pop will never die. Why did you sell so you're this isn't this game's amazing no it's just you know i i promised the wife that it'd be done at nine that's all but that's okay i'm at you know i i'm stoked i'm i have a perfect excuse to keep the stream going is that i gotta keep playing final fantasy 15 war for eos number one premium triple a mobile title that you could get right now all you need to do is scan the qr code it's just that simple and then all the proceeds of the stream go right to ukraine everybody wins everybody wins telling you final fantasy 15 war for eos the number one premium experience look at this look at the overworld 
animations you know these are just these are these are minuscule little mi minor animations they put all these work all this work into it right you know this this game <laughs> i'm not gonna say that davy uh get in big trouble not even not even jokingly i'm not, I'm not gonna say that i'll get in big trouble all right, so let's keep it going. I gotta wait for my boys to to get to get back home for some reason. They can't. I can't divert them. They're very <laughs> they're very particular about how they do things. They go to the thing. They do the thing. They go back home. They eat they eat rice and drink soda pop from their favorite 1950s diner, and then I can send them out again. Okay, there are rules and you need to follow them here we go almost done there we go okay let's do it attack march get to marching okay realms what is this while they're marching let's take a look at these realms wow look at this thundering panorama right reach We'll go down for a floated ice cream bar. The pharmacy. Pharmacy? The pharmacy. Yes. Because that's where you go to get your soda pop. Do you get your, what is it? The. Oh, what is it? What the heck is this? Grand throne. What is this? This looks epic. What do they, they, a draw? They call it like the a soda lick? Something like that? Oh, what the heck is this? Grand throne. Holy smokes. This is epic. You could have this on your phone, folks. For free. Okay, for free. Yeah, go to the skill tree. There's more stuff to unlock. Here we go. Recall soldiers. That looks like a pretty useful skill. March speed. Oh my god, yes. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Upgrade all of that. Oh, sweet Jesus. I can't believe I didn't have that upgraded. Infantry attack upgrade. Infantry lethargy or lethality. I thought it was lethargy. Uh, let's see here. Upgrade. 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 Number one premium experience. Do it. Give me all that. I want all of it. There we go. Final Fantasy 15 War for EOS. Make sure you buy it today for the the all the money in the world except no it's free keep your arm keep your leg keep your firstborn folks you could get this free look at this digging fighting loving there's a whole story you know the princess is kidnapped literally i gotta rescue her i don't know how to do that but i gotta i gotta do something new area unlocked this could be you well, I'm looking to get rid of my firstborn. Oh, well, sorry. You're going to just have to go to one of those other AAA experiences that really, you know, that doesn't respect your time and wallet. Unlike Final Fantasy 15 War for Eos. Upgrade! What? What about satellite dish? Here we go. Let's give this uh, ruined command point. Here we go. Upgrade! Give me them fireworks. That's a party raid special event. Oh, very cool. Thank you, Davey. It's so I'm so glad that you you played this game. You actually got into it a little bit. You can actually explain some of this stuff to me. Here we go. Here we go. Fight. Fight. Kicking butt. Kicking butt. Here we go. Look at that, that is so cool. That's actually, the transparency effects on this creature is actually really good for a mobile title. Um, animations are smooth. You know, I, I, it's like, I believe that that is a pile of, it's like a puddle of liquid, right? You know, that's become sentient, you know? And that these, that these are sentient grenades floating in the sky. Like, I believe it. 
Gotta watch out for these things. These bombs. These are rough. Woo! All right, head on back. Let's soda jerk. That's what it is. Let's go jerk some sodas, boys. Let's head on to the pharmacy to jerk some soda pops. In the special event right now, each guild has a reserve time slot over the next week. Well, I probably would be participating if the if the, the you know if the coolest group in the world didn't kick me out. Dang lesbians that get me again. Doesn't sound very family friendly. It's super family friendly. Okay. I would absolutely let my kid play Final Fantasy 15 War for EOS on my cell phone, unsupervised, allowing him to buy as many microtransactions as humanly possible. I would let him do that. Open it up. Open it up. Open six of them. Yeah, we opened six of them. How many of these do I have? Open them up. Open it up. Yeah, I got it. I got she's in a circle. Heck yeah, boy. Got people in circles. All right. Heal them up. Heal them up. And this is so addictive. So many things to click on. There we go. What's this? Click it. Give me it. Give me stuff. I want more stuff. Train more people. Train them up. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, we get to do the bridge. We're going to do the bridge now. Here we go. Give me this. Give me this. There it is. Just dig it up. Bunch of apples in this building, in this ruins of this building. You know how it goes. Campaign? What is this? Need to heal. You need to heal troops. <gasps> it's the Batmobile. Look at this. New chapter unlocked. Departure. Super cool. Wow. Look at this. You could have this on your phone, folks. This is pretty cool. All right. What's this? What am I doing? All right. Here we go. Enter one, one, one. Fight. All right. This is fun. This is the first time I've done this one. This is cool. So this is how you do. Hey, Cindy's with me. Why is Cindy with me? That's great. Where'd she come from? Well, this is great. Papa asked me to tag along if that's okay with y'all. What is is this how you stand? You're stand I'd fall on my ass if I try to stand like that. Are you a supermodel? No, you're a car mechanic. Alright. Oh that's fine with us. Right, guys? Nope. The more the merrier. Cool with me. But who stands like that? They gotta look cute. True. It is important. Get him, Cindy. What is she doing? She's just pointing her wrench at Let's them? Or is she is she repairing me? Is she healing me? That, that that fine. stance is ridiculous. Why would you make her stand? Square Enix, you gotta fix this. Why would you make her stand like that? She looks like she's gonna fall on her ass at any moment. This looks beyond uncomfortable. You know how they make women stand in the most uncomfortable positions to show off their body? This is, come on. Square What's Enix, that? we gotta call this out a bit. Things. I don't know, it's also it's also pretty unique. I've literally never seen a woman stand like this before, so. Piece of cake. Carmen isn't unbelievably hot. Nope. <laughs> it's okay. a group of, it's a group of guys in a, in a, in a gas station kind of thing. Is Cindy still with me? Yay, Cindy's still with me. Okay. Those gorillas look all riled up. Yeah, I wonder why. We're all a little riled up right now. <gasps> Can we ride them? Watch out. Watch out. I need to oil my lawnmower sword. What is she doing? She's pointing her wrench. I think she's healing us with her wrench. <laughs> Look at Gladios. Granted, it costs money. <laughs> Cindy does it for free. No, that's fine, Square Enix. Like, you want to make Cindy stand in the most uncomfortable position I've ever seen in my life? That's your prerogative. That's fine. Still the greatest mobile experience you could have on your phone in 2023. Final Fantasy 15 War for Eos. I told y'all to look, not step in. <laughs> yeah, we're not looking. 
I don't know, what you're looking at what? What do you mean, Cindy? I'll just remind you that I'm not doing your laundry. I'll do your laundry. <laughs> I'll do... No. Just, I sound too... No, I'm too eager. Too eager. Okay, sorry. And that's that. Lone or as tall as I am. She has a very tall leg. Look, if she... I'll, in charge of making I'll reluctantly I'll do your laundry I'm sorry I'll, I'll reluctantly do your laundry I would you know it's a kind of a pain in my ass but I guess I'll make time for it you know it's just the kind of guy that I am right here we go more Cindy I know the little guys around here somewhere you mind telling us what we're looking for <laughs> what are we looking for rare little fellow called a cactuar Spotted him on one of my morning walks a few days back. All righty. How is she, is she? If she's out here in the desert, this is where she lives. Why is she so pale? She should have more. You know, maybe she just doesn't tan. Maybe she's like, there you know. He is. Don't let him get away. Okay. They're, they're really smart to put her in this campaign, you know, they're really smart to like To, to put her in here Oh, there's her dad because that's just what you want to see right when you're per when you're perving on a on a woman is you want to you want to also run into her dad The regalia looks good as new. Where's the martial art again? Oh, I see they're kind of emulating what happened in Final Fantasy 15 That's how the game opens up is with you having to fix the regalia, which is your vehicle Core is waiting for you in the tombs to the northwest of here. Anyone depicting southern super hotties has never actually been to the south. Just a short it's okay. ways past the outpost. I, I always like it when Japan, you know, draws an American or interprets American culture. I think it's the funniest thing ever. The characters are always swearing. Yeah, they're like you know, swearing and they're like, nice, you know, they're like, nice, you know, melons, you know what I mean? They're like super misogynist. I think it's super funny. All right, we can do this. Let's do it. This must be the outpost Sid mentioned. Pan loves westerns. Heads up. They do. The Niflheim forces yeah. are already here. The uh, wasn't that that a um, uh, piece of uh, legendary Japanese cinema? Uh, wasn't that based off of westerns? They're attacking our crowns guard. Oh, what what's the crowns guard? Let's engage with our own troops and pin the Nifs between us. Yeah, dang Nifs. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Action packed. Action packed. Let's see here. A lot of action. Sorry, we're, you know, just checking out all the action. Don't mind me here. Boy, am I glad to see you guys. Not sure how much Okay, I got to do this for another half hour. There we go. Okay, so until 930 for me and then I'll be done. Ooh, who could this be? Who could this be? I actually didn't get very far in Final Fantasy 15, so I don't know who this character insomnia. is. Insomnia. Well, that doesn't sound very good. A small detachment is escorting Lady Iris to the city of Lestalem as we speak. Iris? You sure it's not Iris? That sure does look like Iris. All right, I'll take your. I owe you guys big time. Is Where's her can of dip? Where's her pack of ball bros? Yeah, right. Exactly. The marshal? You just missed him. You know, He's waiting blaring, for blaring like country country music on the truck radio. Okay, so this is cool. This is actually I think this is like kind of like a like a very short retelling of the story of Final Fantasy 15. That's pretty cool. Something like that. Whoa, what's this? All right, get him. Where's what happened to Cindy? Oh. Is auto on or was it off? Did I have it off? I thought it was on. Yeah, her shitbox truck. Right. She's way too much pride in, right? She's got a bunch of like shit hanging from the rear view mirror. Somehow not as catchy as Cordy. I think this is I think this is on. I think that's what this means. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. They're using their stuff. Yeah, there they go. Okay. It's so cool. Game plays itself, you know, like you can start a battle and then, you know, go do some laundry. <laughs> is this what cultural? Yes, exactly. This is what this is what it looks like. Kronos. Why would Japan do this to this? 
to to us. Thank you, Davey. Very much appreciate. Thank you for coming in. Thank you so much, and thank you for supporting Final Fantasy 15 War for EOS Alas, and this uh, charity Before stream you, uh, the for the Ukrainian Red Cross. Thank you so much, Davey. To claim your we got another half hour of this, folks. And duty as king. Heck yeah! Look at this. Super cool. Oh! Oh! That was cool. Another tomb lies close by. I suggest you head there next. All right, we'll do. Haven't fought together like this in ages. Yeah. I'll go with you for the time being. Okay, Mr. Cobweb T-shirt. Nice T-shirt. Help, but to get a measure of your strength. He reminds me of Angel from Buffy. Remember Angel from the Buffy series? He got his own spinoff and everything. Where's Remember the one Angel? You mentioned. Lawnmower sword over here. What are you doing? Kikatrich Trench. We know there will be a crypt deep inside the tunnels. All right, let's go. Time to hit the road. I try not to. <laughs> oh, there's a robot. Oh, here we go. We can do this. Many years ago, we waged a fierce battle. How, here could we wait till maybe after the battle to do the talking? Like this guy waits until like right to the moment we're about to swing his sword, and he's all like. We talk about something right now. It all went to ruin. And after that, the Empire moved in like a Hey, congratulations, place. Kronos. You're winning the little mini game. For you, buddy. It's time we took it back. Yeah. Legacy 2. Kill the robot. Hey, that's a big old robot. I bet it's Magitek. I bet it's Magitek. You know how I know I'm not a main character? I'm not ungodly amounts of handsome with amazing clothes. Oh, that's not, you know, that's not true. Kronos. You know? We, we all get to be main characters of our own stories. You continue to show promise, your highness. Don't let his praise go to your but head. It's, it's, I, don't, I don't think there's any human being on Earth that could consistently dress like a Final Fantasy character. Like... You know, unless you lived at a nightclub, I don't think you could get away with dressing like, you know, buff Dracula. You just don't think you could get away with it. All right, we're done. You would get arrested by the fashion police. Yeah, me too. Okay. Goodwill's a great we're place off. for threads. Enter. What happened to my car? Legacy three. Do it. March. I don't like the look of those numbers. But they look fine. Numbers alone don't decide a battle. Exactly. Sometimes you need the luck of the Irish. What you Saint lack in numbers, you make up for in tactics. <laughs> he just turns into like a generic Irish character. That'd be great. But the luck of the Irish, matey. Yeah, look at this. He's all like, we're not going to win. I don't like these numbers. Me meanwhile, they just, they completely nuke the whole area. I don't like these numbers. So, are we heading into that tunnel? Looks dark. Yeah, well, you have a big fancy gun, so. Come now, Prompto. Y you have a gun, he has a cobweb t-shirt. What? <laughs> no. No. Right, let's go. How do I prove myself? Ow. How do we prove myself? Ow. All right, here we go. Bunch of bombs, level 16 bombs. What is this, a joke? This game not even take me seriously? Let's go. Anime femboy looking femboy. No! He's got a girlfriend. He, uh, Prompto has a very tragic story in Final Fantasy 15. I'll have you know. Very Those tragic. Show people lived here? Oh my God. Those seeking re Wars. You're, what are they good for? <laughs> what, what am I trying to say? You can't have a tragic story if you're a femboy. What am I even trying to say? No. No, he's not a femboy. He's had a tragic story. No, he's looking good. He's looking good. I'd ask him to wear some cat ears. They should give him little cat ears. That'd be cute. Give him a bunch of like femboy cat ear, you know, oh, costumes for Prompto. That'd be amazing, Final Fantasy. You just totally twink Wait, out to Prompto. Me. That'd be great. We have <laughs> Give him some booty shorts. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm glad that the femboy has, you know, it's never been a better time to be a femboy, even though, you know, there's, there's definitely a lot of pushback against the LGBTQ community, but there's also a lot of acceptance uh, of femboys. Even, even beyond the fetishization of femboys, like, you know. Training's we'll done. Oh, that's good. Okay. That's cool. It tells you when stuff is done back at your home base. No, I want to do the story more. I'm having fun with the story. This is fun. Here we go. And I'm like over leveled, so I'm kicking butt. I get to go through like a good chunk of the story. It's really great. It's great game design from Square Enix. AAA top number one video game experience. Pick it up today. Download the QR code, folks. Number one AAA experience. Feel eyes on us. Yeah, you can feel eyes on you. You little, little pop tart. <laughs> yeah, nibble. Second we turn our backs, bam. Bam. Shoot him with my gun. Quit being a wuss. Yeah, come on, Prompto. We know what's going on in that tent, don't we? These two, these two Gladios and Prompto. It gets lonely out there. Throwing it up with the bros. Come on. It's a look, it's a vibe. Prompto's got that vibe, right? He, you know, tries to keep it a little sis. Cool, no, the animations are really cool. There's Gladios getting knocked out again. <laughs> Here we go, oh shoot. Okay, actually I'm gonna use, um, yeah, I'm gonna use a Phoenix down there. Bring Prompto back. I probably didn't need to do that, did I? Um, I, I I think so. They can, right? They can do all the. You can do anything you want, right? So yes, I think you can be that. Time to clean house. Yep. Boom, dude. The graphics are just amazing. The thrill of victory. Love the graphics. Ignis, you're in charge of making dinner tonight. Oh, this looks important. Okay, this is the this. Look at this icon. This looks frightening. Looks like. Aladdin, Jafar kind of situation. All right, so here we go, folks. Power of Kings 3. Prediction, pretty good. Okay, this, this is a boss. Yeah, this is a boss fight. Look at this dang thing. Oh, my God. Total, to total Final Fantasy boss right here. Look at this crazy-ass thing. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Is there a way to boost my guys? I probably... I wish I had a boost kind of thing. Let me... Hold on here. Let me go back... Real quick, let me see if I can level up my dudes. Let me see if I can level these guys up. Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. So let's level him up to 70. There we go. Let's get... Um, <laughs> let's update our Gladios, our poor guy. Poor Gladios no over game. here. No game. Let's get him up. He keeps dying immediately. There we go. Let's see how high we can get him. Need a powerhouse. We need a tank. All right, I see that the attack is going up. You love to see it. Okay, so I need to get a different thing for Gladios. Get him leveled up. Be ever mindful of the dangers. Okay, let's Exercise get Ignis going country. here. Five minutes from family friendly veering off into rule 34. Yeah, well, that's very easy to do, right? But no, this is family friendly. Final Fantasy 15 War for Eos is all about, you know, good family, good times. That's what we do here. All right, let's get him up here. Level 60, level 70. Perfect. Prompto, let's do our, let's do our cute little Prompto. We got some real chemistry here. Ignore, ignore the bad frame rate. That's my fault. You know, this is not indicative of the quality on your phone. This will look much better. I assure you. All right. Now that we're fully leveled up, let's, let's get back to it here. Take care of that business. Let's get it real quick. Let's get something in our university going. This is great. You know, you can just get things queued up, right? All right, get that research going. There we go. What I'm saying is I know some peeps that wouldn't mind seeing the femboy stand like the mechanic. They should make Prompto stand like Cindy. That is such a good point. All right, let's do it. Boss battle, boss baby. Wait, how come I can't enter? What happened? Can I fight? Okay, I can. Okay. Here we go, folks. This is gonna get this is gonna get super juicy. 
All right. Goblins taken out in seconds. Excellent. Here we go. Hear that? Boss time. Look at the graphics. Oh my god. Oh my god. Only only Final Fantasy 15 more for EOS do you get this kind of action. Only this is my time to shine. This is this is so good. I'm addicted. I'm addicted to this game. Let's finish it off. Yeah, there we go. Gladio's finally kicking a little butt there. Let's finish this. Yeah, use your lawnmower sword, please. Oh, she squirted us. Squirted us with web. This is no good. I don't want to get squirted on. Here we go. Frostbound. Stagger. Amger chain. Amger. Amger. Prude. I don't like webbing. Because that's what we're talking about. Come on, finish her off. Do it, team. Yeah, we did it. Boss fight defeated. Boss fight defeated. Look at all my... Look at all my spoils. Yeah, heck yeah, into my treasure chest. Ooh, I get a new sword. Girl. Look at this. It's an axe. Oh! Now I have two of them. Now I have two of them. I just want so to keep Nock going. Borrows the old king's powers? That's cool. That's a cool concept. Is that what happens in 15? I need to actually finish cool. that game. At this rate, he'll soon rival his father's legacy. Is, did his father have a bunch of ghost swords that were stuck in him? That's pretty cool. The copycat king. Why you gotta, you gotta, sh whoa, whoa, where did that come from, Gladios? What, I thought we were all having a good time, and now you gotta, like, you know, call me out like that? Out of line. Yeah, thank you, exactly, Ignis. <laughs> Haven't fought together like this. Well... What, like? what is Gladiosa's problem? What? Did I step on his foot or something? Hmm. Like I've got some tricks up my sleeve. You think about starting a Final Fantasy game? It it is you know, it 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 you know, you'll like you'll start one and then you'll come back like a month later and you're like, uh, what's happening? Where do I go? You need to put on a magic show for us. I don't know how some people do that. Like they're able to just put in a game and then they play it. For like 60 hours and then they complete it now one game that's it i don't know how they do that oh here we go okay and now we're on to the next part of the chapter here all right so before we do this okay before we i want to do some more campaign stuff because this this will be a good way to end it uh but we got about 15 more minutes of uh of our wonderful stream here so let's just take a look at the status of our town click on some stuff Click on this, put 60 hours into one game doing bullshit, then never beat it, yeah. Exactly. Well, that that's really the sign of a good game if you can, you know, just dink around in its world and still have a really great time. All right, opening up some treasure chests. Oh, purple, you know, purple, purple is good. Purple means good. Here we go, free. Oh, orange is not as good as purple, but it's good, it's still good, but it's not as good as purple. Open another one. Oh, purple. We got a purple that time. Woo! That purple. Purple, purple, purple. Cindy over here. Is she standing like that behind there? How is she standing? I think she's standing normal behind here. So, yeah, when she doesn't have to. Uh-huh. Busted. Busted. That affects her contract with Square Enix. They they go, told you, you got you to gotta stand like that. Hunter supply collected. Excellent. Where's my fireworks? I don't get fireworks for that. Oh, that's not as impressive. Okay. Uh, level Citadel. I got to level up my Citadel to level nine to get that. Okay. Upgrade the hero thing. Um, I don't think we'll be able to speed this up. Let's see if we can. Oh, help requested for my guild. Yeah. Oh, they're right. They're, they're all over it. Here we go. Um, yeah, use these. Use these. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we might actually be able to do this before I'm done. 
Level eight. Perfect. Let's see here. Let's get our citadel up. Infantry barracks. Oh, okay. I gotta upgrade this bad boy. It's nice how it tells you how to do that, because sometimes it's really annoying. All right, I'll just give this an upgrade. There we go. Level seven. What's I'm now in my chat. Okay. Bet. Oh, people are chatting. It's not safe for work over there. All right, now let's try it. Oh, level eight. Okay. Speed it up. All right. Let's get these. There it is. Level eight. Okay. Let me upgrade my citadel. Boom. All right. Let's see how much we can speed this up. Two hours. Not a big deal. All right. Speed it up. Speed it up. Oh, look at that. All right. Heck yeah. Level 9 Citadel pack. All right, now we can expand our area here. Boom, boom, boom. More apples, more stone. More apples, more stone. Oh, good. And we do have a fight. I these are my favorite. I like these fights here. All right. Hopped in the hoopty, loser. She's standing on level footing with everyone else. She's got six foot legs. <laughs> more foot body. Totally normal human proportions. What's your problem? All right, let's go ahead and clear this one out. Attack! March! Excellent. Oh, so exciting. Folks, you can have this on your phone. Download, you see the little QR code? Right there. Amazing. 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 I'm just, I'm amazed every single time. I really am. Repair it. Let's do it. Bada boom! Get in the hoopty. Get in the hoopty, losers. What are you hanging out at a campfire? You don't even have beer. Let's go. We got the party. Party over here. Dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. More digging. I want to dig some more. I want to dig some more. Give me. Give me dig. Dig, dig, dig. Recruit. Once again, you're just hanging out at a campfire. What are you even doing here? Come on, party's this way, losers. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at all this space. Look at all this space to build and live and love and laugh. Repair this, ruin shelter. Let's make it a better shelter. Look at that. Look at that. Now it's a legitimate shelter. People live here now, you know, because of me because of me because of what i did because of my action gotta protect the troops what does that mean i don't want to protect anybody i want to conquer here we go let's do it another battle get out of my town jerks Woo! jerk faces <laughs> Victory. Victory. And then I think the fence disappears, and, and now this is our land. We got it. Okay, let's get back to the story. Here we go. I say we get all the way to the boss on this one, and then that will be uh, the end of the stream there, folks. Let's do it. Imgur chain, do it. Hey, Core. How about you show us how it's done? You should show me how you made a t-shirt out of cobwebs, actually. Um, I'm clicking on things, not doing a thing. Core, what happened? Core? Core got really mad at that joke. Oh my God, Core has a problem with my joke. Hold on here. <laughs> it's being weird called silk and smyrna you know what that's funny because that's basically what silk is isn't it um, i don't know what the deal is it's being all weird it won't let me click okay hold on we got to reload the game the stream is not over folks stream is not over don't laugh at me don't you dare laugh at me that is mean all right we're just going to relaunch it here hold on getting close to our goal thank you so much final by the way thank you so much final fantasy 15 War, war for EOS for supporting the stream and supporting Ukraine. Just happy you caught on. What, that it wasn't working? 
Oh, I caught on. I'm savvy. I'm a good streamer boy. All right, we're just waiting on it to load up here. As you can see, this amazing AAA artwork. Give it a second. It's calculating all the things. You know, it takes a long time. It's calculating things. I just got to give it a second. It's thinking about it. Just check and see how much are left. All right, there we go. Just a couple minutes left. Boom. We'll finish up the campaign. Call it a day. Just waiting. Just calculating everything here. We're, we're loading it up. Reticulating splines. That's spider web. I'm just having you kind of spider webs are made of silk. Oh, yeah. No. Of course. You know, of course, silk worms, not from, not from spiders, but kind of the same thing. It is kind of interesting, right? Um, but come on, man. That shirt is made of cobwebs. It's not made of silk. It's like made of actual cobwebs. Like he just, he just pulled them off of his dungeon wall and then just turned them into a shirt. You know? Way to shit on it. Yeah, nerd. Here we go. There's that Final Fantasy music that we all know and love. Almost there, folks. We're almost back into the Final Fantasy 15 War for Eos. Oh! Heck yeah. Collect it. Day one. You never answer my question. Huh? What am I doing? Divine intervention. Divine intervention, eh? Sounds no. like an excuse. Up. What the car is broken again? This car is like really gets busted way too much. I gotta run an errand for Sid. What she need? What you need, Sid? Best let her explain it to you. Ooh, please let Cindy explain it to me. Make your way over to Hammerhead and she'll set you straight. Thank you so much, Sid. Okay. Well, why? Why? I was in here. Is this why you crashed my game so I could? So you're doing this to me? No, this, that was funny. So that was actually a, a thing that was supposed to happen before for the whole Cindy arc. Okay, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> Kronos. Your memes are fine. They're just spicy enough. They're just spicy enough. Come on, I'm just waiting on the, there we go. There we go. <coughs> All right, start battle. No, it did it again. No, what is this? Let me click. Oh, okay. I just gotta really, I gotta really click on it. Okay. Hey, Core. How about you? No whipping out. Let's move. <laughs> he said whipping out. Whipping out. Such a shame, Kronos. You could, you could have this on your phone. You just upgraded your phone. I hope you've learned a lesson. No I hope you've learned a lesson about having cheap phones. Because if you had a more expensive phone, you could have more storage for memes. You can move the memes over, man. Come on. You can move the memes. Imgurchain! Imgurchain! There we go. That's right. The Empire's begun construction of a new base along the road west to the sky. The sky. I need you to put it out of commission. Meme poor. Man, that sucks. Left unchecked. It will cost us access. Lost all his man? Man's lost all, all his memes. Tombs that lie beyond. All right, Mr. Spiderwebs. So are we heading into that tunnel? Is this a tunnel? We're going into a tunnel? That's scary. Here we go. Love these loading screens. Really evocative. Oh, get him. Yeah, shoot him with stuff. Sometimes the sound effects glitch out. This is probably my fault. It's because it's on PC. Oh, there they go. <laughs> there they go. Maybe I th it's probably my fault. There's probably some memory leakage on BlueStack. That's probably what's going on. All right, give him an attack here. Just a couple more minutes. Uh, I, I, I want to get to the boss. I'm curious. I want to I wanna see what the boss looks like. You know what would... Yes, we know. Chocobos! <sighs> it's prompto serious. Like, we're going to die, dude. Like, we're fighting against, like, demons that are, like, stabbing us with knives. And this guy wants to play with chocobos. Look at this. Should we need to bring birds into this situation, bro? We need more guys with lightning fingers. That's what we need. We need more lightning finger guys. We don't need guys hanging out on a bird. Okay, Prompto. 
You're gonna get us all killed. Like the army's falling back. Good. Just a couple more fights, and the path to Disguise will be clear. Disguise, spelled D-U-S-C-A-E. All right, we'll just give it to him. I died in that car. Had a folder of horny memes and anti-horny memes. Oh my goodness, very versatile. Declaration of War. Do sky or nothing, fellas. We must fight the villains. You fingered foul fruit, friend. Leave it to me. Yeah. There we go. Prompto kicking butt now. I believe you. Leave it to me. Some people are able to like express the perfect emotion with the perfect meme. It's really quite a talent. Final wave, kick him butt. Get him, Prompto. Shoot him with your gun, Prompto. Everything we have. You know why? Why does any? Why do you have swords? Why was it? What about a magic gun? The magic gun seems to make a lot more sense to me. Okay, he's he's adorable. Is he not adorable? True meme lord. A walk in the park. So it should be. I could have gone. That mentality could prove your undoing. Piece of cake. I don't like this core fella. He doesn't treat me with the respect that a royal deserves. This show on the road. Let's do it. Mid boss. We got a mid boss here. Do it. Nani? Did he say Nani? No, he said not me. Not the face! Let's go! With the magic bazooka. <laughs> I love the walking sound effect. Here we go, mid-boss. Can we do it, folks? <laughs> Who's this guy? Who's this guy? Right where you are. Bro, you're in the Final Fantasy universe, so you bust out like period accurate armor. That's so lame. Well, well, Kor, the immortal, so you survive the oh my god, his voice. But you won't survive what I have in store for you. It's oh. past time your legend came to an end. <laughs> okay, Point Dexter. Smoke him. With me. Smoke him. Look at that, they're pausing time. They're so good. Smoke this gun. fool. This is for you, Luna. She's currently kidnapped, by the way, my my precious wife. You're mine. That's not very nice. Pick his butt. What is happening right now? A lot of a lot of jaw jacking here. Let's get with the sword clacking. There we go. Yeah, chop him up. Do you like is this good commentary is this <laughs> is this is this what you're here for <laughs> legendary commentary oh he calls in a robot because of course he does he has to call in his little metal gear fucking look at this guy i mean freaking they can't say the f word no. his family friend look at this guy he jumps in a robot more cheap clapping comments this is family friendly he jumped in a robot to do that. He jumped in a robot to achieve that. All right. Impressive. Shush it, core. All right, we're gonna get to the final boss and then we'll call it a day. Just to give some, we gotta have some closure to the stream here. So let's get through these little mid fights here and then get to the boss. Uh oh, 32, that's high level. Did you see that sign? Chocobo, Chocobo, we sure. get it. Should be just up ahead. We get it, dude. Chocobo. We like Chocobo, we get it. That's why I said cheek clapping and not. Oh my god. Family friendly, Kronos. Come on, bud. I'm trying to impress Square Enix. I'm trying to impress my new bosses here. You know? So we can get more money to Ukraine. I'm trying to impress my new bosses. Leave it to me. You boy pushing it boy 
Ba 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 ba. Okay, we're good. Hide the chocobos. All right, almost at this boss here. Almost done. Almost done. Start battle. My poor There's wife. She needs like to go to bed. Hunting in the woods. What was that sound? Capitalism. Well, that's it's a sorry fact. We live in it. I'm not going to be able to change capitalism between now and the Ukraine war, right? So, trying to get them some money. Ukraine Red Cross was just massive missiles, massive missile strike on the Ukrainian Red Cross. So, trying to help them out. And Square Enix is nice enough to help me do that. How about that, folks? Big props to Square Enix. Come on, finish it up. Go, 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 go. Final wave. Hit him with a lawnmower. He's all like yanking the yanking the pole chain on his lawnmower sword. You gotta choke it. You gotta hit the little choking thing, man. You gotta choke it a little bit. Oh my god, half my guys are dead. Ah, uh, finish him up. Keep on like this. Uh oh. Got him. Man, that was close. Okay. No, no, no. No. Why don't we just do that every time? All right, here we go. 28. Prediction good. I guess we just got unlucky because that was the prediction last time. Finish it up. Let's finish it up. Come on. I definitely hear buzzing. Yeah, me too. Let's go. Finish him up. I want to see the boss. Is that the, is that Irifit up there? Dude, that looks like Irifit in the background. How cool is that, dude? Look at that. Is that the boss? That is awesome. Look at him. He's back there. He's waiting for me to get. He's waiting for me to get to the next section. That's cool. Oh, that's actually legitimately cool. Look at him. He's back there. He's just waiting for me to get there. That's that's actually really cool. Do it. He just pulls the pulls the pole chain. Man, in much awe. <laughs> I know Irafed, the summon. The fire summon. It kind of looks like Irafed. And there hasn't been any summoning mechanics in this game. Come on. Finish. There we go. Do, yeah, do your thing. Come on. All right, here we go. There's so, there's so much fancy graphics. It's like all these fancy animations and stuff. It's really a premium experience, folks. I can see. All right, here we go. Final before the boss. All right, come on. There he is right there. We're, we're just that much closer. That is so cool. That is actually really cool. It's like, oh, that's really neat. Cool, we get to see the boss. All right, here we go. Finish these guys, come on. Show no mercy. What happened to a cobweb t-shirt? Where, where's he? Man, all my, all my dudes are like bailing on me when I get to the big, big show. Where's my get? Where's Cindy? What happened to Cindy? Need your help, Cindy. Magic wrench. She could be fixing me. All right, here we go. Come on, finish him up. Oh, dude, I'm prompto. I don't know where did he pull that one out. All right, here we go. Final wave. Finish it up. Come on. Imger chain. Ooh, boy, that really messes him up, actually. Get him, get him, get him. No holding back. <laughs> How can you even hold the sword? <laughs> All right. Hey, congratulations, Kralizana. Yeah, I know that was really rough for you, buddy. What happened? What happened with your apartment? Your your guy can't just break into your apartment and steal all your shit? What the hell? All right, here we go, folks. The final battle of the night before the end of the stream. Here we go. Final battle of the night of the stream. Dang, look at this boss. Okay, here we go. 
called the police and filed a criminal complaint against my dad. They're threatening to evict me. They broke into your apartment. What in the world? Dude, get the lawyers. Get the lawyers. Trail of Xanath. Get the lawyers, bro. There we go. Good. Yeah, that is. I can't believe that that happened to you, man. I'm so sorry. Here we go. We're getting. Where's the boss? He was all on the ledge waiting for me. Now, where is he? I'm going to use my Phoenix Downs. I have two Phoenix Downs that I've been saving. And it looks like I'm going to have to use them early. There we go. Phoenix Down. All right. I've already had to use the Phoenix Down even before I got to the boss there. That is not a good sign. Ooh, nasty. Nasty. Look at these graphics. That's a really cool. That's a cool animation. All right. Here we go. Supposed to be calling me back on Monday. Good, all. good. Well, good luck, Krail of Xana. It's weak on the right. No eye, no horn. Yeah, so aim for the right. Let's flank it. We can work together and take Dead Eye down. Do it, Dead Eye. That's his name. All right, here we go. Flank him, flank him. So they just fight him like they would normally. They don't do anything Let's different. This. We gotta flank him, strategize, and then they just start hacking away. Let's finish this. Do it, finish it. Yeah, it's really hard if for like one creature to do it. Well, good luck, Krail of Xanath. You got screwed over, man. Good. Good luck, bud. So sounds really illegal what, what went down for you. So, good luck. Oh, and make sure you download Final Fantasy 15 more for EOS. Uh, scan the QR code and play the game there. You can help donate money to Ukraine. You know, now that now that all your stuff out of your apartment is stolen and you're gonna need something to do, you're gonna need something to pass the time, right? So you could do that with Final Fantasy 15. Officer agreed with you? Yeah, okay, good. Now with cooking. Boom, look at this. I didn't even have to use my Phoenix down. We just kicked this boss's butt, folks. Ain't got nothing. Dead eye. You ain't got nothing. Smoothest segue ever. <laughs> Well, now that you're almost homeless. <laughs> and there it is, folks. There it is. Boss defeated. You could have this on your phone. You could take this to the doctor's office, man. You could be slaying Deadeye. You took out Deadeye. Well, that's a big relief. All right, let's get the final story bit here. It was a challenge, but we needed to protect the people in the region. Exactly, like a hero would. Like, a, you can. You can do this. You can do this. So can we ride the chocobos now? Okay, you're a little bothering me. Did I, God? Y'all are welcome to ride my chocobos anytime. Oh, I'm going to ride his chocobo. Played the, played this How a long time ago. Well, you could play it again. You could play it again. And if you if you scan the QR code and get to uh, level reach power level 100,000, which takes about 40 minutes, you could help donate more money to Ukraine. Special How awesome breed, is that? Born and bred for battle. All right, here we go. That would be great. Thanks. Cool. There you go. We got Coke Chocobos. Boom. All right, folks. I would like to thank Square Enix uh, for this great opportunity. Thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity that allows me to raise money for Ukraine. Uh, the proceeds of this paid uh, sponsored stream are going to go to the Ukrainian Red Cross. So that's a little over $400 right there going to the Ukrainian Red Cross. Thank you so much, Square Enix, uh, for this opportunity and Stream Elements for this uh, opportunity. Um, thank you again. I hope you enjoyed the game, everybody. That's This is the end of the stream. So thank you so much for coming. Krayl of Xanath, good luck with your, with your lawsuit. And please update us on how that goes. Please come back and update us on how that goes. Good luck with that. Big props to your boy who gets the Garbage Fuel Award of the Day, Chrono Stampede. <laughs> Chrono Stampede, uh, QR code, it's right there. It keeps, it keeps blinking, keeps coming and going. Uh, Chrono Stampede going to go ahead and get the Garbage Field Award of the Day for being such an awesome person sticking around the whole stream. Thank you so much for your support. Um, of course, big props goes to Davey as well and Woke Patriot for all the time that they spent getting us three out of three. That's because of their hard work right there, Davey and Woke Patriot. So thank you so much. We're going to be doing this again. This is a great way to raise money for Ukraine and other countries. We're going to be doing other charities as well, not just Ukraine. But of course, they need the help right now. So uh, once again, thank you for being here. Um, I am Abandoned Nihilism. This has been the News Underground. 
um, sponsored portion, you know, trying to raise money for, uh, you know, trying to, trying to do some good here. So thank you again, everybody, and have a good night.